The USN's F-35 Chrome Lightning just got a mysterious mirror-like skin. Another stealth aircraft from the U.S. military has been sighted donning a metallic-looking paint. It's an American this time. A mirror-like mosaic of panels covers the Navy F-35C Joint Strike Fighter. This chrome coating is a unique compared to another one that's been noticed on a U.S. F-35C, but is quite similar to one that's been observed on a service F-35C. In modern times, an Air Force F-22 Raptor. So, want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, and military planes, from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us till the end of this video, so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's begin. The involved aircraft has the Bureau number serial number 168842 and is a member of the Navy's Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 9 or VX-9, sometimes known as the Vampires. The aircraft has been operating out of Naval Base Ventura County, Point Mugu in California at least since last week. Along with the VX-9 tail code XE, the aircraft also has the Modex number 105 painted outside of both of its twin tails. On the exterior of the left tail, a more modest version of the VX-9 emblem with a bat and twin lightning bolt pattern and four stars arranged above can be seen. The marks are obviously far less fascinating than the mosaic of rhombus, triangle, and square-shaped tiles arranged around the airframe. This is different from the F-22's mirror-like finish design from the previous year, which had panels in a variety of shapes, including square, trapezoidal, and roughly triangular ones. Around March of this year, a second Chrome Raptor appeared with a different coating pattern that featured collections of smaller rectangular, trapezoidal, and triangular tiles. The F-35C in this article uses a similar application to this one, as opposed to the Raptor's earlier use of a mirror-like coating. The current coating on 168842 is also different from the one that was previously seen on at least one other VX-9 F-35C, which featured recognizable scalloped edges halfway across both wings and a significantly larger area covered in more sheet-like material in some areas, similar to the first mirrored F-22. There have been rumors that 168842 may have previously possessed this older coating. However, the plane that was spotted with it in January while flying over a region near the California-Nevada border had a different Modex number, 100. Of course, more than one of VX-9's F-35Cs could have received this additional coating at one point or another. Regardless, we can now be certain that at least two of VX-9's Joint Strike fighters have been painted with at least one of the metallic-appearing coatings. The older F-35C coating had given off the impression that it might be translucent, appearing either shiny or matte, depending on the angle of view, and flipping the contrast of the marks beneath it as the perspective shifted from front to back. It's unclear whether the 168842's covering possesses the same characteristics. We've lately spotted at least one of the Air Force's not-so-retired F-117 Nighthawk stealth jets, with a finish similar to the two different types of mirror-like coatings for the F-22, in addition to those two other types. Long before the F-22 showed up with it, a Model 401 demonstrator aircraft from Scaled Composites was also spotted over NAWS China Lake, sporting a comparable covering. Even earlier examples of comparable coatings date to the F-117 program's fully operational phase. Although the specific reasoning behind these finishes is yet unknown, it is thought that they can help those already stealthy aircraft lessen their signature, particularly in the infrared band, without significantly altering their radar cross-section. It might also have to do with making the delicate, low-observable skin of the aircraft more durable and maintainable over time. Uncertainty exists on whether these specific coatings are intended to be an example of something that might be used on operational aircraft, or whether they are merely being tested, evaluated, and used for research and development at this time. Moreover, it is unclear why 168842 in particular is in Port Mugu, Naval Facility Ventura County, did a news release earlier this month that was a little cryptic about the increased flight activity at the base beginning on August 22nd and concluding September 2nd. According to the press release, MBVC Point Mugu will host about 50 aircraft. Aircraft supporting several test events are expected to operate during airfield hours out of MBVC Point Mugu from August 22nd to September 2nd, with the bigger periods of flying between August 22nd through 26th. At this moment, there are no nighttime operations planned. But the news release also stated that whatever would be taking place would be a solitary exercise with the aim of providing unit-level training for pilots and air crews on the Point Mugu Sea Range. 
It's almost a given that 168842 is their appoint Mugu to take part in this test or training regimen, whatever it may involve. In addition to the Marine and Air Force units, a number of other aircraft from the Navy's test and evaluation community appear to have arrived to the facility for the same reason. There were several other jets that were of great interest that photographer Matt Hartman was able to capture images of. They also include more VX-9 aircraft, including at least one EA-18G Growler, FA-18E, and F-Model Super Hornet, and VX-9 aircraft. There was also a landing by an additional EA-18G from Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23, or VX-23. The VX-23 Growler arrived with two fresh AN-ALQ-249V1 next-generation jammer mid-band electronic warfare pods hidden beneath its wings. These are only one in a line of brand new electronic warfare pods being created for the EA-18G. Two Air Force F-117s, which are now frequently substituted for low-observable, stealthy aircraft and cruise missiles and large drills and test events, are also present at Point Mugu at this time. The facility has also seen the arrival of one of the latest F-35A aggressors for the service, which is part of the freshly revived 65th Aggressor Squadron. Additionally, two Marine F-35Bs from Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1 were among the most recent arrivals. Whatever test and or training exercise Point Mugu is now holding, a wide range of specialized assets are taking part that are capable of presenting, or at the very least simulating, an equally diversified number of threat scenarios. The Navy has previously stated that it anticipates this electronic warfare system to achieve initial operational capability by the end of fiscal year 2022, making the EA-18G with the NGJ-MB pod stand out among the other aircraft in addition to the mirror image F-35C. The fiscal year 2022 comes to a close on September 30th. It's also crucial to keep in mind that the aircraft mentioned in this video are only the ones that have been observed in the open. There are undoubtedly other aircraft participating in the testing and training that haven't been necessarily seen visually because the MBVC press release cites 50 aircraft. Online flight tracking software, for instance, recently revealed an Air Force B-52 bomber flying a mission off the coast of Southern California the day after the test and training exercises at Point Mugu were allegedly a initiated. Furthermore, it should be noted that the Navy and Air Force have performed advanced combined test and training exercises off the coast of Southern California before, so this would not be the first instance. These incidents have been happening more frequently and have expanded in scope and size at the same time. This is largely a result of efforts to better portray higher end dangers and to do so at larger scales over greater distances. So that's going to end today's episode, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments for us, please share them with us in the comment space below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more incredible videos. And you can also check out our other ones that have been specially selected just for you. And we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching.